Today we will be demonstrating a hydraulic lift based on Pascal's law, which says that the pressure change at any point in a confined incompressible fluid is transmitted throughout the fluid so that the change occurs everywhere. The hydraulic lift is an application of Pascal's law, which allows us through his equation, force over area equals force over area, to lift a heavier object using a smaller force. We built a small scale hydraulic lift using the following household items. A small syringe, a large syringe, tubing, and a scale to weigh the objects. We were able to lift almost two pounds with one pound of force. We cut equal size blocks of wood and weighed them individually. After trying to lift the two blocks of wood with one block of wood, we did not get the reaction that we wanted. We then had to look for something small to overpower the frictional force within the system. After multiple attempts, we found that Leonardo at two ounces was the solution. Pascal's equation tells us that we should have been able to lift 29 ounces with 10.44 ounces. However, that calculation is based on a perfect system. We found there to be approximately a 25% friction loss in the system, and it took a 17 ounce force to move the 29 ounces. We calculated areas for the small and large syringe and our tubing, and then we calculated our lost contraction and lost expansion in an effort to find where the friction loss in the system was. Our major and minor head loss came out to be nominal, which proves that the loss came from using lower quality household items. In a real life situation, the components used for the lift would be extremely high quality and properly lubed to lower the percentage of loss. When a force acts on an object over a distance, it is said to have done work on that object. The basic principle of a lift consists of a pump forcing oil into a cylinder, which then pushes a piston, which then pushes the man lift up. To go down, the valve opens and oil is allowed to flow back into the reservoir. Gravitational force allows the man lift to lower. Our friend Steve is demonstrating a hydraulic lift in a real world situation. Steve is using the man lift controls to operate the pump, moving oil in and out of the reservoir, allowing him to delay his arrest. In our experiment, the displacement of the smaller syringe equaled one third of the displacement of the larger syringe. 